Hello there. I'm going to show you how the members of the American band Slayer have changed. You will learn their ages and life stories in a nutshell. Watch this video to the end to see what all the musicians of this thrash metal band from California looked like in their youth and early career, and what they look like now in 2023. Enjoy watching. Tom Araya is considered one of the brightest vocalists in the thrash metal genre. Tom's older brother played guitar, and he was the inspiration for the future rock star. His parents hoped that Araya would become a therapist, and they even sent him to a two-year technical course with lectures in medicine. At the age of 20 Tom met Carrie King, who asked him to join the band Slayer. Araya agreed and put all his earnings into the first release. Thanks to the 1983 album Show No Mercy, the band became known in metal underground. Did you know that years of head banging during concerts led Tom to a spinal surgery, and now his neck is held by titanium plates? So fans of energetic metal music, take care of your health. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss my new videos about metal and rock stars. Let's keep going. Dave Lombardo is one of the most talented and influential drummers of his generation. He began his musical journey as a child when he joined the school orchestra. Dave's father noticed his son's strong passion and bought him a drum kit. Being a teenager, Lombardo already had a DJ experience, and he also put together his own band, which quickly broke up. At the age of 16 he meets the founders of Slayer, who just needed a drummer. The band received their first white acclaim after the release of their third album Rain and Blood, which becomes their first album to hit the Billboard 200. Now Dave continues his musical career, delighting metal fans with his unique style. Guitarist and one of the founding members of Slayer Jeff Hanman was a man who lived his life with full passion and dedication to music. He grew up in a veteran's family, and this played an important role in his musical creativity. The scandalous song Angel of Death was a prime example of this. At the age of 17 at the audition for a place in a blues band he meets Carrie King, with whom he creates Slayer. In 1988 the fourth album South of Heaven was premiered, which brought the guys their first significant commercial success. Hanman contributed a lot to the creation of almost all releases, except the last one. He died in 2013 of liver failure. Paul Bostoff began his path to music with a cheap set of drums that he acquired at the age of 15. Bostoff started his career in the band Forbidden, where he stayed for a long time. His drumming can be heard on his first two albums. After Lombardo left Slayer in 1992, they started looking for a new drummer, and that's what Paul became. After recording four albums with the band, he left the lineup and tried himself in such projects as Systematic, Testament and Exodus. In 2013 he returned back to Slayer and recorded the last album Repentless with them. He remained a part of the band until its disbandment in 2019. Gary Holt's musical career began in his youth and has flourished to this day. Since the age of 17 he is the guitarist and songwriter of the thrash metal band Exodus, which became one of the leading bands of the genre. It was Holt who determined the vector of its development for many years and continues even now. In 2011 Gary temporarily replaced Jeff Hanman in Slayer, and after his death he became a permanent member. Holt contributed to the creation of the band's last release Repentless. He remained with Slayer until its dissolution after its farewell tour in 2019. John Deddy worked in many famous metal bands. For his 14th birthday his parents gave him a drum kit, and since then drums became his passion. For many years he perfected his musical skills. In 1994 he joined the band Testament with which he toured for some time. In 96 John successfully auditioned for Slayer, making his childhood dream come true. But the next year he left the band and tried himself in other projects. Kerry King holds high positions in the ratings of the best metal guitarists. In his school years King was an excellent student for some time, but with the advent of girls in his life, his studies were put on the back burner. His first guitar Kerry got at the age of 13 as a present from his father, who tried to find something for his son to do. Slayer became widely known after the release of their sixth album Divine Intervention, which reached record positions on the Billboard charts. 
and their work God Hates Us All, released on the ill-fated date of September 11, 2001, was nominated for a Grammy. After the disbandment of Slayer, Carrie can devote more time to his favorite hobby, grooming his numerous snakes. Be sure to watch these videos to see more fascinating transformations of your favorite celebrities. See you in the next video.